How you doing? This is Dave Johnson, Grill Beast. We're doing some uh, chickens on the uh, barrel house smoker today. Now, we're gonna take and cut these chickens in half and do, chicken, do four chicken halves. We're gonna hook them and cook them, all right? So, just before we even get started, so you know, or when you get that barrel house through Grill Beast, we offer you bribes and bonuses uh, that you cannot get anywhere else. So we want to show you how you do your chickens on that barrel smoker. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the spine out of the chicken. And so all you got to do is hold it up. You kind of got his neck right there. You need a sharp pair of shears. You can use a knife if you want, but it's better if you have a sharp pair of shears. You just cut right along side the spine. Just make sure you don't cut your finger off. There you go. All right, so, get that piece of bone out of there. All right, cut one side, then you cut the other side. So, once you get that, you just take, right here you see a little V, you just take your, your cleaver, cut right through it, and then you'll see it kind of has like a little V in there. Let's cut right through that. Okay. If we were doing a spash caught chicken, we would leave that little piece in there, but that's not what we're doing. Okay? So you just split it over. You pull this bone out. Okay. You can see you got two halves here. All right, so we set this aside and we'll get the other one done. Okay, if you are making a stock, which you should always try to make a stock, you wanna save these so you can put them in your stock. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna inject everything. And we'll do that in the, in the pan here. So with our beast injector, uh, you would either use either the perforated needle or the precision needle. I'm probably just gonna use the precision needle on these. So, we use our normal injectable brine, which is two cups of chicken stock, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of salt. Just mix that up real good. There's no certain amount to inject. You just wanna inject as much as it'll hold. And uh, just inject the breast first. You don't wanna put a ton of holes in it, just you can watch it start to blow up. All right, get a little bit in the leg. And all you're doing is adding plenty of moisture. Get some in the thigh. There, so see like one side holds about two ounces. All right, and hit the breast. the leg and hit the thigh. Make sure you don't stab through and stab yourself. Okay, now that does it for the injection. You want to do it in like a pan because some of it's going to leak out and you don't want that leaking all over your cutting board. You know, you'll still get some leak. Now the only thing left to do is um, add your seasoning, whatever you're gonna do to it. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a, a herb butter. I'm gonna stick, get some under the skin and then rub it over top of the skin and just put some basic herb seasoning on, uh, on the outside. And then we'll hook it and get it into the smoker. So you just take a little bit of butter, or herb butter, and you find a little spot, get it all up underneath the skin. This is gonna help Add a lot of flavor to the meat. It's gonna help crispy that skin up. If you just put seasoning over top of the skin, it doesn't get to the meat. Okay, and you don't need, you know, tons of it, but uh, just get as much as you can in there. What you wanna make sure of is when you're doing this, 
you're not trying to save any of this stuff because you're contaminated with the uh, with the chicken by going back and forth. Okay, after you get it all on the inside, get your nice pockets of butter, steak, and rub it all over the outside. Okay, so I got everything injected. I have everything buttered up. It's got herb butter, everything underneath the skin. I'm gonna take and hook them, and then we're gonna add some extra herb seasoning to the outsides, and then we're gonna hang them in the uh, barrel house smoker. So you get right where the wing, the wing and the breast kind of come together, right under the bone. That's where you wanna hook it, okay? So it's just like that. All right, so you hook that up just like that. You can just find that like little meat pockets right under, under it's like in the armpit, right? And you hook that through, take it through the skin, and it's hooked in there, all right? And we're gonna add a little bit more poultry seasoning. To me, herb seasonings always get better with poultry. You know, every now and then I will use um, a regular rub, but for the most part, when I do whole chickens or whatever I use herb seasonings. All right, so we're ready to hang this and, uh, and get it all cooking. All right, so let's take all these. Okay, so I already got the smoker going. Uh, the top thermometer is gonna read about 275, but where everything's gonna be cooking, it, it is hotter. So, and that's what you want. So at this point, you just, you just drop your chicken in. So now with the size of these chickens, full chicken was about six pounds each. And so you're looking at about two, maybe two and a half hours cook time. So you just leave it in there. You want to come back and check it in about two hours because you don't want to overcook it. Uh, you're looking at about a 170 in the breast and 165 in the thigh. Okay, so it's been uh, just at two hours. I just checked the temperature and we are done. We're ready to take the chickens out. So you get a nice nifty little tool here and it helps you grab the hook and pull the chicken right out. All right, there you go. The skin browned better on this one and this one than these two, but they're all still done. They're all good. All right, look, let me take these hooks out. So with this, you just take the hook and take it just like that. One thing you want to make sure of is when all that juice runs out, it's nice and clear. That lets you know it's definitely done. You can also check the temperature with your beastometer. There, we're at 170, <laughs> okay? So, uh, we know it's done. Look, I'm gonna cut, cut me a nice, let me see, just cut this. That boy's juicy. Good and juicy. Uh, hot. The skin's crunchy. Good. Hopefully you uh, learned something, learned how uh, easy it is to use the barrel house cooker. If you liked the video, please like it, comment below, subscribe to our channel, visit our website. If you have any questions about the barrel cooker, uh, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer it. And if you do get the barrel cooker through Grill Beast, remember you get bonuses and bribes uh, that make the deal that much sweeter and that you can't get anywhere else. And if you come to our website, you'll see just what that is. All right, you guys have a good night and peace out.